Hi guys, I'm Max Weinbach with XDA TV, and today I'm going to show you which Magisk modules I like to use on my OnePlus 7 Pro. Let's get started. So I'm just going to show you guys some of the uh, Magisk, Magisk modules I like to use, and then just some other tweaks I like to have on my device. So um, yesterday, I put out a video showing how to enable that 90 hertz throughout the entire UI in every app. That is one tweak I enabled, and that is going to be a battery drain, right? So one of my first modules I installed is FDE AI. This is an optimization module. It helps with a bunch of stuff. And here we can go to the forums and see all the features and optimizations it has. So I'm not going to read through all of these because as you can see, it's a lot, but I will link it in the description. But just quickly disables background app limits, uh, reduces UI render uh, load, uh, activates 4K YouTube so, uh, video support, uh, activates project butter, optimizes Wi-Fi, optimizes uh, CPU sleep. There's just a lot it can do here. Um, not going to read through all of it, as I said, but there's a lot. And it does help with battery life. I noticed incredible changes and improvements in battery life on my Exynos Note 9 when I installed that. So highly recommend checking it out if you're rooted and want to try that. Next here, I actually have the Google Dialer Framework. This allows me to keep the Google Dialer app installed on my phone. Normally, you need a patch or some other module to try to get it to work or modify your system. That's a lot of work. So the simple patch, you can download, uh, you install it, then you can download the APK off APK mirror and easily install it. Um, for some of these like this, it doesn't have a forum link. So you guys can just download all, uh, actually every module here besides one, you can download directly off the download section. So I'll just list off the module names. So it's easy for you guys to just download these. The next module here is OOS native call recording enabler. Um, I'm not using the OOS uh, call recording anything right now, but if you were uh, using it instead of the Google Dialer, this would allow you to get uh, call recording natively inside of the Oxygen OS Dialer app and phone calls. Again, um, I did mention this in a previous video a while ago, but in certain areas, call recording is illegal all around or if you don't tell the person you're recording. So make sure to look at your local regulations on call recording before using it because you don't want to get in trouble. Next is Pixel uh, 3FI. This will essentially enable a bunch of Pixel features. I do not have this enabled because, well, it was causing some issues with uh, the device theme, changing it from light to colorful. But essentially this will get you a bunch of Pixel features uh, Nightlight, Google call screening, they're working on that. That'll work with uh, this. Actually, Pixel 3FI uh, has the Google Dialer framework included. Since I don't have Pixel 3FI enabled, I have that instead. This will let you change like your font, uh, add just a bunch of stuff. Um, highly recommend checking that out if you're a fan of the Pixels, but want this nice OnePlus design. The next two are relatively well known. Substratum and Viper for Android. So first I'll actually go to Substratum because this is uh, cooler. These are two different themes. Aether lets you customize your system UI. So I already had a couple of them downloaded, just don't have them enabled. We've got three quick cell uh, style icons, sorry. So you can change the amount of icons up here. I have three, but you can change, oops, you can change it up to eight. Uh, minimum of three, maximum of eight. Uh, eight is a little extreme for me, but I know a lot of people like uh, just a lot of information, so you can change that. And then you can also change if the uh, quick setting labels are there, which is just those little names underneath each icon. Um, I like them there, so I have them. You can also change the clock position, left center, uh, the center fold devices, right, and then uh, right for older devices. I have a newer device, so, it's not, uh, well, yeah. You have system UI header, which is network status indicators. I believe that is the uh, little right up there. You can see them go up. It shows upload and download. Yeah, right there. I believe that's what that is. It'll show that. And then you have 4G and status bar. Um, 
In certain places, 4G is LTE. It's really complicated and confusing because there's no good standard on it. But if you want to see 4G instead of LTE, you can do it up here. If not, you can see LTE instead of 4G. It's the same speeds, same connection, just a different icon. And now I actually have these two. This is the three quick, style, uh, quick setting tiles up here. So it'll only show three in a row and right clock. And let's just enable these. Moved over and then system UI will reboot and I'm good. So now you can see I've got three by three, which is stock Android. It's how the pixel has it. It's usually how I like it, but one plus is good with a four by three. And then the clock is right up here now instead of over on the left. Uh, when you do swipe down to go to your quick settings, you can see it's still over on the left here instead of the right minor inconsistency that actually annoyed me enough to uh, disable it because normally I like it over there. It'll all be up to you. You guys can decide what you want. And now the next thing is called edge lighter. Uh, let me actually go grab um, something so I can send myself a notification then I'll be right back. So edge lighter is a super cool thing. So like Samsung phones, OnePlus added edge lighting. So if you get a notification, the sides of your phone will glow. I have it enabled right now. Let me just disable it to show you guys what it is before and after. Okay. So now when my phone is locked and I send myself a text, say hello, right? Once my phone receives that text, you can see the sides of the phone glowed blue. Something that Samsung has, super cool. So, we can change that, we can customize it to be different now. So if I enable this, I actually have it set to the Galaxy theme. Hit enable. Again, my system UI will reboot and I can lock my phone. Then when I say, hey, we get this cool Galaxy looking on, uh, look on the side. Let me just send myself another notification, another message, duo this time. It's a cool look like Galaxy Aurora, uh, Aurora Bole uh, Borealis thing. You can see that straight on the side. Super nice. Um, yeah, so if you like that blue color, you can keep it. If not, you can switch it over to a bunch of different options. You have orange, pink, purple, red, white, Galaxy Honeycomb, uh, Stripes Tech, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Um, but yeah, so those are your, those are the two, um, cool substratum themes. And then the last one is Viper for Android. Now, there is a magisk module for it. Uh, there are two of them actually. But, I'm a material design guy. So there is a version on XDA Labs, again I'll link it in the description, that is full material uh, redesign. Uh, it's super simple. You download the app, install it, give it root permissions uh, through Magisk, it'll ask for it, then reboot your phone. It'll automatically bring over the Magisk module for you, install it, and get it set up. Then you can change around all of these settings like you normally would in Viper for Android. Um, I usually just keep speaker optimization on because that's really all I need. But here you can change uh, output gain. You can ch change essentially everything. You also have a lot of settings here for Bluetooth, USB, and there's no headphone jack, but if you use a USB-C one, this would work well. So yeah, those are essentially the magic modules I like to install on my devices, and just the ones I enjoy using and thought would be great to show off on the OnePlus 7 Pro.